Hi Rap Candy, it's Ryan. I'm going to teach you how to add uh, an option name and option value so that you can have a digital product to sell on your on your um, Zen cart so it'll be downloadable immediately. So first what we want to do is go to your catalog and go to attributes controller and it'll bring up this page here. Next we need to add an option name. You're not going to have any of these here because if you've never done this what we're going to do is make an option and for this tutorial I'm going to call it download three. Next you need to select what type of option and for downloads we're going to do a checkbox. So just from the drop down menu select checkbox go ahead and click insert. Next we need to go to option values so there's and for download three we need to make a name for our option value. Is it a zip file? Is it a downloadable file? I'm just going to put zip because I typically only deal in zip files. So zip file three and I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Now these are ready to be assigned to each of your products and what we're going to do is go to my one of my products that I have not assigned an attribute to. Um, in fact I added it just for this tutorial. So what I'm doing is I went to my catalog, I went to a category to find the product and here it is, number 53, do not order, this is for a video tutorial. If you look all the way over to the right, it's got an attribute features and it's in black. If you notice, all my other ones are in blue because they have attributes assigned. So this one needs an, uh, to be assigned the download. So when I click on it and then scroll down just a little bit to make sure I'm on the right product, it says no attributes defined for product ID 53. Do not order, this is for video tutorial. Well, this is the correct product. So now we go down to the options. I'm going to select download three. I'm going to select um, download three again. And again, yours are probably going to be more like download and zip file, but I already have a bunch entered. So as not to confuse you, I'm just using the ones I just entered. Next, this is very important. If you look down here, uh, you will want to make sure you select default attribute is selected. If this is only a downloadable product, you absolutely want this checked as yes so that the customer doesn't have to check it and that way if they forget to check it they get their download. If you do not select this and your customer does not check it they will not get their download. So always select it as yes and next we need to specify a file name. This file name needs to be uploaded into your downloads folder and it's just the name only. So if your file is partyfavors.zip that's what you would specify. It has to be exactly as you typed it, exactly as you uploaded it. So if your P for party favors was capitalized, it must be capitalized. If your zip extension is capitalized, it must be capitalized. Once you hit insert, like this, this file is not up on my server. It'll tell me right here. Um, right here it says file name and it's in red. The red means that it's invalid meaning it can't find it on the server. So uh, you would want to edit and make sure that it was right. If it's green, you're good to go and you just insert and save and you've got a downloadable product that will work for you. All right, Miss J, this was for you and I hope it was helpful.